Whenever I think of Jomish Dash Twitter, I always come back to this tweet by Paco, the silent club sub verifier, making a quote unquote joke about males. <laughs> this sparked quite the controversy, and for a good reason. But what does it actually say? I will combat the spread of misinformation. Male deaths represent 0% of all <laughs> in the US. Zero men take their own life per week. Men are less likely to get help, often because they don't need it. Talking about mental health issues makes you weak. Speaking up when something is attention seeking. Yeah, not the best thing you could be posting on Jamesh Dash Twitter. Following up with an idiotic apology. It basically adds nothing. It says, the post, like half of everything I post on this account, is in some capacity bait trolling or fishing for responses. It's absolutely not a defense for my actions, but it's important to give this context. When I woke up, the post had way more attention than I was expecting. My immediate response was to say that it wasn't a big deal and that it wasn't that deep. I was frustrated that people seemed to take it seriously and were assuming the worst in my intentions. I've realized though that my intentions don't really matter here. Even if it was actually a joke, I don't find anything funny about this. Let me know if I'm just not getting it or if it's the funniest joke you'll ever hear in your life. Whatever, moving on to another showcase of Twitter's utter stupidity is the Ultra Kawa OnlyFans leak. It all started with Ultra Kawa HD, a Jamish Dash player and YouTuber that decided to make an OnlyFans account, which consists of a paid monthly subscription to watch a user's content. His OnlyFans content was, well, not really safe for work as he literally played Jamish Dash with his <laughs> On February the 12th, 2023, Ultra Kawa HD would make a tweet saying, Does anyone have the video of Zelenox burning a Bible? I need it for a video, but I can't find it. I could only find one image of it, but not the video. An account called GD Players Who Fell Off replied saying, Did he actually do that? Bro, what the hell, I lost all respect for him and I'm not even Christian. Why? I respect him more for doing this. That's extremely disrespectful to Christianity. I would burn one myself if I had one. Honestly, fuck Christianity and religion. By the like to quote retweet ratio, you can probably guess that this tweet did not go well, as less than one day after this, his OnlyFans got leaked by a user called Wave Disliker, another Javich Dash Twitter user called Geomaniac who'd gone to tweet, just saw the Ultra Kama OnlyFans leak. And just 14 minutes after this, at Wave Disliker would gone to reveal, I leaked Ultra Kama's OnlyFans, WRL, followed up by an apology from them less than one day later stating, before I write anything, if anyone reading this has contact with Ultra Kawa, please forward him to me because I would like to formally apologize and compensate him somehow. February 13th, 2023. This is the day Ultra Kawa's initial tweet was made and the day shit hit the fan. This tweet bugged me as a lot of my friends and family are Catholic and nowhere near bigots like a lot of people in the thread generalized religious people as being. It wasn't until people I knew started getting angry at the tweet that I got the idea to publicly post his OnlyFans content. I downloaded the entire drive that I was sent and re uploaded it on a group chat, asking if anyone could post it on my behalf as I didn't want to take the backfire from edgy kids that hated religion as I didn't know that this was Ultra's only income at that time. A friend of mine posted it but deleted it hours later because they felt bad. February 15th, 2023, I posted tweets about how I leaked the OnlyFans, not knowing that it was Ultra's only income, just thinking it was a funny gag that I had pulled. But when I was informed that it was actually his only form of income, I immediately started feeling bad. To Ultra, if you're reading this, genuinely, I'm so sorry. Now, when I saw this, I didn't know how to feel. I mean, a lot of people make fun of Ultra Kawa for doing anything possible, from sponsorships, to a Patreon, to an OnlyFans, instead of getting an actual job. Which makes sense, like, do you expect someone who plays Geometry Dash with his stick for money to want to get a real job? But now, we are going to cover the dumbest showcase of Geometry Dash Twitter's absolutely brain dead community, the Acheron Skip controversy. You might be thinking, Skip? Skip in the top one? Well, I need to clear this up. I mean, I'll let 3pm explain it better. Well, at this UFO part, at 33%, usually you're supposed to click at this blue pad once. But players found out that if you clicked a second time here, it would turn this originally extremely hard click into a less extremely hard click. Yes, this got Twitter furious for some reason. They got even more furious when the original uploader, Rayamu, decided to update the level to fix the quote-unquote issue. And that is you not being subscribed. I'm trying to reach 2k, you could help me out by subscribing right now. No pressure. The change was then reverted, opting for a stupid flashing message that follows you for the whole level as punishment for doing one click, one more click to make 0.3 seconds of an unbearable top 1 extreme demon into a slightly less unbearable top 1 extreme demon. Phew! <sighs> 
The level was then reverted again by Robtop, and some people like Nepesta and Colon responded to this, saying, I remember when levels weren't constructed to a specific click pattern that you had to do, and people had their own ways of doing each part. I get that the game is hard now, but still. Totally, I hate that whenever people find any sort of alternate path in a level, even if it's just an orb skip or something, they act all smart like, your level is broken, I found a swag route, you're such a bad creator. Can we please stop calling this a fucking skip, okay? It's not a fucking skip, alright? It's just a goddamn different click pattern.